Hey everyone, it's Trish. I'm back with another vlog here. I'm heading off to Aldi's and to Target. Um, nothing super special, much like the last day I filmed, although it's not cold. It's rainy, 72, um, kind of stinky, can't really get the kids out too much. So, and my husband's home today, so it was a great time for me to go grocery shopping. I am doing my monthly non-perishables for June. I have planned out all my dinners. <clears throat> now that I'm home for the summer as a teacher, I've got more lunches and breakfast to factor in. Um, so, which I don't get too fancy on those things. I mean, I say that, but this morning I made homemade cinnamon rolls. So, um, I don't know. Uh, there will be those days. There's going to be oatmeal days. There's going to be toast and peanut butter days. There's going to be sandwich days and hot dog days and those type of days. I just always try to balance. So if we've eaten something yucky the day before, I try to make sure that the next day is a lot healthier. And that's just kind of how we balance everything out. Here's my huge all these lists. Lots of highlights today. Um, I'm going. It's 10 o'clock in the afternoon, so which is a great time. I hope it's not busy. A lot of um, food should still be out and available. And not that I've ever gone there and really like ran out of apples per se, but um, it's just a little bit less stressful. Then I'm running over to Target. I've got to get my daughter some shoes. She's thir uh, almost 13 months now, walks like a champ, but um, I don't have any shoes for her that she can really wear outside and um, go to the park and stuff. And I'm not taking her with me today just because it's easier in my husband's home. So I'm just going to guesstimate her shoe size and hope that it works out. And if not, I guess I will be bringing them back. So anyway, um, as always, I'm not going to be filming while I'm driving. This is not hands-free and I think that that's um, not safe. So anyway, I'm going to do that and I'll probably vlog throughout the day. Once I get back, I will show you everything I purchased and um, I know I'm making spaghetti for dinner, so I might um, film a little bit of that as well. So kind of boring day, but you know, got to get stuff done, right? Because as a mom, doesn't matter if it's boring. So, oh, somebody's getting a lot of wood chipped to their house. Awesome. Anyway, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, so I'm just leaving Aldi's, and I'm so glad. When I pulled up, there were like three cars here, and now there's like 15. So, um, I actually did not buy as much as I thought that I, or that I had planned to, just because my cart was getting so full. That sounds so bad. I think I spent um, $234. I'll look for sure when I... And get back home but I have to tell you I mean our refrigerator was empty I mean I meant to go on Tuesday felt horrible um did not go could not go on Wednesday and really I probably should have gone like the Friday before and I was actually sick then so long story short we were we've just been empty but our fridge was so empty that I decided to clean it which was really nice I was able to take every uh, little glass pull out thing every little um, tub and everything pull it out clean it out so and I've kind of reorganized for my son now so that he can grab some snacks himself and that type of thing so um, I'll show you a little bit more about that but I mean we were bare to the bones we were um, really being very creative with the things that we have eaten over the past few days which has been nice actually because we have not wasted as much we were you know we're like this is what's available you want a fruit we have apples um you last night for yesterday for dinner i made um homemade salmon burgers and then there was like um a little like turkey ham that was a couple days of expiring and i'm like i'm cooking that at the same time so um i cooked once in the afternoon and was actually set for the evening which was really nice so now i'm heading straight across the street to target to look for um shoes for my daughter and i also want to get some balsamic vinegar and some flour yeah I'm trying to find some more like maybe whole wheat flour they have flour here but um I'm looking for something else but anyway so onward to the next adventure <laughs> thanks for watching stay tuned okay I'm leaving Target um I got my flour I did not see balsamic vegan vinegar I picked up some whipped cream I think my son has been begging me to make a pumpkin pie so I don't know what that's about but um so we'll have that um, and I bought some shoes for my daughter. They're kind of like the sporty sandal ones since it's summer. Um, they had some like light up tennis shoes that were really cute, but I'm like, mm, in a couple months when she's ready to wear those, probably won't fit her anymore. And I hate buying stuff and then having it not fit. I'm kind of the mom that buys everything a size too big. So anyway, and it was really weird. The smallest size they had for like little kids shoes was a five. And I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, no, those are too big. They're too big. But I bought them anyway because I can bring them back. But then the other place I went over to the actual kind of baby area and they have just like the weird 
I don't know, shoes people put on baby's feet that don't need to wear shoes. You like put a pair of socks on, it's fine. I don't know, that's my opinion, but anyway, so I'm on my way home now, bought all these groceries to unload, and then the video of the haul to shoot. So I'm um, drinking lots of water, need to use the restroom, um, and that's it. I'm on my way home. Thank goodness it's starting to get busy, so I'm very excited to not be part of the busyness anymore. See you in a bit. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Trish and I'm back with possibly my largest Aldi haul ever, <laughs> or at least in a long time. There's so much on our table here that seats six that I'm gonna have to go through these, put these away, and then get the rest out and do like a part two. So just to kind of preempt, I shopped for the month, but we were also very low on food just in general. We were so just kind of scrounging around and there was a couple days I needed to go and just didn't feel well and put it off a day or two, but it was kind of nice that most of the things got cleaned out from the refrigerator, so I was able to take everything out and clean it and kind of rethink the shelving and all that kind of stuff, so hopefully I'll have a better system once all the stuff is put in here. It was $234, so let's jump in. Um, I got a pineapple, um, two bunches of bananas. We're home now for the summer. So I'm um, pretty much feeding almost everybody uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which is gonna drive the grocery cost up a little bit. But I'm not paying for daycare, so kind of offsets. Some pure canola oil. Do you guys ever get confused about what do you fry it in? Should it be a vegetable oil? Should it be corn oil? Should it be canola oil? And every time you see something you get kind of a mixed message. I don't fry a lot of things, but I do, you know, occasionally, so I have to have something on hand to do that. Um, Parmesan cheese, we're gonna have spaghetti here in a little bit. Fit and active light mayonnaise. Um, hazelnut spread, dried cranberries, lots of cans. Um, I've got some, I've been craving some fat free refried beans, tuna, black beans, whoa, pumpkin, chopped spinach, cauliflower, um, I'm going to roast that, kind of make it like a potato bowl, but with cauliflower. I've tried that a couple times. Once it turned out okay and once it didn't, so I'll let you know. Some real carrots, mozzarella cheese. Their cheese was all on sale, so I kind of stocked up on that. Um, and then the cheddar cheese, 2%, I believe I have a couple bags of that as well. Kind of boo-booed here. I grabbed these regular hamburger buns and then I turned the corner and then they had the whole wheat. I thought I put back the hot dog buns, but I guess I put back... I mean, I thought I put back these hamburger buns, but I must have put back the hot dog buns and grabbed both of these, but that's okay. We'll still eat it. Um, zucchini, I'm going to spiralize that. So then I also had to get some more snacks since we're going to be around the house more, and we'll be traveling a little bit, and if any of you have little kids, you know every time you turn around, I want a snack, I want a snack. So um, I got some portable snacks as well. Wasabi, soy almonds, those are more for my husband. A couple of containers of grape tomatoes. Um, these were new to me. I like the Fit and Active cheese snacks. These are uh, ranch flavored, so I'm gonna try those out. And this also grabbed my attention, pumpkin seed tortilla chips. So I'm gonna make some homemade salsa here in a little bit, so we'll kinda maybe test those out and see how those taste. I don't know if they'll be sweet or like more tortilla-ish, I'll let you know. Um, sweet butter lettuce, some light syrup, two bags of um, pre-washed and ready-to-use spinach. Two things of frozen broccoli, some yogurt, um, pineapple and raspberry, black seedless grapes were on sale, plain Greek yogurt, uh, regular just tastes like knockoff butter stuff, um, a salt grinder, a um, tomato and basil hummus, lemons, limes, avocados, um, frozen tilapia, these 85% lean um, hamburger patties, those have been great for just kind of a convenience hamburger. Milk, vitamin D milk for my son. Three containers of apple juice. Um, one t uh, container of orange juice. Some turkey tenderloin, that's gonna be part of my freezer meals. I actually did not buy all the stuff that I needed to make my freezer meals, embarrassingly, because my cart was getting so full, and I already knew that kind of my bags were gonna run out, so I'm like, I'm just gonna have to get some stuff next next time. Uh, mild Italian chicken sausage, I've really liked those, putting them in lots of different things. Um, scrambled eggs, um, just with some potatoes. Lean ground turkey, three of those. Hang on, babe. Um, almond milk, and sweetened vanilla, and then regular. A bag of potatoes, put that down for a second. Um, organic spaghetti, that's for spaghetti here. My son has been what? begging me, mom, let's make a pumpkin pie, let's make a pumpkin pie. So I saw these pre-made um, cracker crust. Here, babe. So we're gonna do that. Put it down for a second, I'm filming it. Some paper plates, we always need those every time you turn around. Honey Nut Cheerios, they had actual Cheerios at all these, which was nice. He's handing me things, put it down for a second, babe. 
a dozen um, eggs, freezer bags, and regular Ziploc kind of bags, the Boulder brand, active dry yeast for making pizza, strawberries, two, and I always get confused about the bread too, um, whole grain bread, or this is 12 grain. I think I always compare it with the um, whole wheat bread, and this one actually has healthier ingredients. Here's some more convenience foods. These caramel nuts, um, these are nice just to have around the house. Um, these pastry crisps, I've got strawberry and blueberry. These are nice to travel with because you don't have to worry about anything melting in the car or if you put it in a diaper bag. I also travel with these um, Go-Go's, apple peach, apple multi-fruit, apple banana, strawberries, did I already say those? Um, I think that might be everything that's on the table right now. I'm going to pause, put this away, and I have one more bag of stuff to show you. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, this is the last of the stuff that was in my last bag. I have two bags of our favorite cheese in this house, provolone. One more bag of the 2% Mexican blend. The Roma tomatoes and cilantro for my um, fresh salsa I'm gonna make this evening. Red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper. Jar of pickles. Uh, one more package of the mild Italian chicken sausage. Some cashews for snacking. Some natural applesauce. Two jars of this tomato basil pasta sauce our spaghetti here in just a little bit. And then this is my purchase from Target. These are my daughter's shoes I was kind of talking about earlier. Um, we're gonna try those on her in just a minute. Size five is the smallest they had, but I wanted them to be kind of the uh, tennis shoe-ish, but sandal too. These Scotch Bright dish wand refills. I got bought the one that has a purple in there, but it doesn't really scrub the dishes very well. This says non-scratch, so hopefully it's not. This was 50% off on Cartwheel. It's a Neutrogena Wet Skin Kids uh, the spray. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF 70, but um, I've heard some controversial, controversial things about the spray and inhaling that. We always have our son put like a shirt or something over his face anyway, but um, I bought it. Um, sugar in the raw, um, whole wheat flour, and um, some ready whip for our pumpkin pie and the free and clear dish soap. I love this stuff. Let me know though if any of you at home, if you use this, it, the top always seems to kind of like clog up more so than any other kind of dish soap that we've used, but um, it was on sale today and, and I do like it. So that wraps up my entire haul for the day. I'm gonna get spaghetti going here. I'm getting very hungry, probably snack a little bit while I'm cooking. And um, I think we're gonna have, um, burrito, uh, bean and cheese burritos with the salsa for dinner. I think that's the plan. It's a rainy, yucky day, as you can see. It's kind of just yuck outside. So we'll be inside trying to uh, entertain the kids. Um, see you in the next haul. Thanks for watching.